wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best desoldering pumps. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, the RSR Electronics Ink Desoldering Bulb represents an old school solution for fixing or removing joints. Its simplicity and size are useful for some applications and it's made from durable rubber and plastic components. It's got no moving parts and is easy to disassemble for cleaning. However, plunger models are better value. At number 9, the ECG J045DS is a 2-in-1 apparatus that integrates a soldering iron with a simple bulb sucker. While it's nice to only have to use one tool for the job, it might not be as powerful as purpose-built pumps. It comes with a replaceable metal tip and the iron runs on 120 volts, but it takes a while to heat up. Coming in at number 8 in our list. The Tabager desoldering pump is different from most models, with a sponge sleeve that slips over its main housing to help provide a comfortable grip. It comes with a heat-resistant nylon nozzle bundled with a desoldering wick. However, its longevity is questionable. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for desoldering pumps, or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, the Weller 7874B is a bit more expensive than some similar looking options, but it's a sturdy design that should last longer than many cheaper models. It includes an accurate suction nozzle, but it is slippery in the hand, and replacement tips are expensive. Moving up our list to number 6, the GB Store Solder Sucker is one of the cheaper models available, but it's still perfectly capable for occasional use. It's a good option for beginners or those who simply want to spend as little as they can on casual electronics projects. It's corrosion resistant with a lightweight plastic body and a ribbed housing that provides a good grip. Halfway up our list at number 5. The Tabager Remover Kit is a good package deal. In addition to three basic pumps, it also includes two 5-foot rolls of wick, which can be easier to use in hard-to-reach areas. It's equipped with a heat-resistant, coated tip and an easy-to-clean nozzle, and it can be used one-handed. At number 4, the Engineer SSO2 is one of the most expensive plunger options, but it's a high-quality construction with some thoughtful features, and it can stand up to frequent use. It includes a flexible silicone nozzle and a spare tube, and it can handle high heat. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, it will take up more space and cost more than a small plunger star model, but some people will appreciate the convenience afforded by the Yiwa 948 ESD, which allows you to heat and remove unwanted solder with one hand. It offers a maximum temperature of 896 degrees Fahrenheit and can also display in Celsius. It includes a separate soldering iron. Our newest choices can only be seen at Wiki. Dot easyvid.com. Go there now and search for desoldering pumps or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, the trigger actuated American Hako FR301 has a comfortable pistol grip and offers four heat settings ranging from 660 to 930 degrees Fahrenheit. It heats up quicker than the company's FR300 model, though it isn't any less efficient. It includes a hard shell storage case, an iron holder, and a cleaning pin for maintenance. And coming in at number one on our list, the Yiwa 9482 does come with a suction pen, but it also comes with a desoldering vacuum, a soldering iron, and a hot air rework station, making it a comprehensive kit suitable for professionals. It also includes spare filters and nozzles and a bonus pair of tweezers and replacement parts for it are readily available. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for desoldering pumps or simply click beneath this video.